everyone, it's Rihanna and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to tell you what not to do at a Hollywood audition. A lot of you guys want to be actors and actresses, so I'm going to tell you guys, when you audition in Hollywood, which is one of the biggest places to like get roles and stuff, you need to follow this because some like little mistakes can just ruin your first impression to the producers. Well, she's trying to find a fly in my room, and it disappeared. Okay, so what not to do in a Hollywood audition. I'm covering my stomach because when I, like, sit down, there's, like, rolls. Okay, so number one is showing up late or too early. When you go to an audition and you show up too early, they're just going to have to have you sit there, and, like, producers won't even be there by the time you're, when you're there. So it would just be kind of awkward because you would have to talk to other people saying, oh, I was supposed to be here this time, and then they're like, oh, that's not, that's not coming up yet. So it's kind of embarrassing doing that because you just have to sit there and wait, and if you become too late and you miss, miss your call time, they're not going to even like trust that you're going to make it on time when you film the real deal. Number two is to tell them you need to leave early or ask to skip the line. When you sign in, I there is I go to this place called Hollywood Acting, and there's an iPad where like you sign your name, email, phone number, and that type of stuff. So they have your informa information to call you into audition. Well, you can't ask anyone, hey, I need to go early, so can I just skip everybody? Because some auditions you have to wait for like an hour to do, which is stressful. So if someone's already been waiting for an hour, and someone just asks to skip in front of you. Other people would get furious and would complain. Mochi, you are gonna fall off my desk. Get off. Stay. You're not going on my desk. Also, if you like tell them, even when you're filming, if you say, oh, I have to go because I have to do a soccer game, they might accept it at some times, but if you're filming something big where they need all day, that's not going to make them happy. Number three is to ask the casting director too many questions. When you're in there and they're like, oh, okay, so do you have any questions before we start auditioning you? You can't just start asking away, asking away, asking away. So they like get distracted and you take up so much time that you don't even do your audition. It just like really annoys them and... The producers or director, whoever's watching you, will think that when you're filming the real thing, they're, you're just going to talk the whole time and not focus. Number four is to go inside the audition room without getting called your name. So if you go in there and you're like, oh, um, is this the script that we're supposed to be doing? There usually should be other people asking to help you that, but, wait, helping you with that, but if you just don't notice them and you want to ask the people, and if you go in while someone's auditioning, that's like the worst thing you can do. And it's just invading someone's time to be able to get the role. Number five is wearing too much makeup. You can wear a little makeup, like if you have under eyes and stuff or that type. But when you have a resume, you put your headshot. And your headshot should just be your face. So they know exactly every single one of your features if you like have freckles or not, you don't want to cover it to think, oh, I don't like my freckles, so I should cover it. They choose you on how you, like, basically look and not on how you pretend to be. Number six is showing up in, like, lazy clothes. So if I'm doing an audition where I have to pretend I'm in a business meeting and I thought I didn't need to dress up actually like that and I dress up in sweatpants and a tank top, they're just going to think that you weren't following the directions that they send you because when you get an audition, you get emailed or like phone calls saying, hey, do you want to do this? So if you just dress up in something dirty or stinky or just lazy, they're not going to think you're prepared. Number seven, don't go to an audition when you're sick. You don't, I don't think anyone wants to hear you coughing or sneezing. I don't think any of them want to hear you coughing or sneezing because they don't want to get sick first of all. And it just ruins how you talk because when you're sick, 
your voice kind of changes and you might act different, you might be more tired and like not productive. So they'll either ask you to come another day or just say, it's okay, just you might get another opportunity, come back when you feel better. Number eight is using your phone or talking loud in the waiting room. There's usually one little room, it's not a room, it's like an open space with a bunch of different audition rooms. And when you're sitting in that and like being distracting, listening to a YouTube video or without earphones, or just like chatting with another person, they're just, it'll ruin it. <laughs> it'll ruin it. Because when you're filming a movie, commercial, a music video, they'll stay quiet on set and that means everybody has to be silent. So if you start talking really loud, not whispering, or watching a video, that's just going to ruin the whole thing and they're going to have to retake it. And it might seem easy just retaking it, but retaking it can actually take a while because they need a reset on all the video and stuff, quality of uh, music, sound, and it's a long process. Number nine is eating food in the waiting room. Just don't eat food in the waiting room. It's kind of disrespectful eating something in someone else's like area when you're about to go. And yeah, it's just kind of obvious. Don't eat while like you're about to audition. Number 10, and this is like big, it's taking photos or bringing up on social media. Number 11 is talking loud to the other actors. So just kind of like talking in the waiting room. If you're just like talking too much, even when you do like group auditions and you don't know each other and you just want to start conversation, don't do it while in the audition. Maybe do it after or before because they don't want to get distracted on what the audition is for, if you get what I mean. Number 12 is waiting there without sign up. I think I've seen like a couple of people do this not knowing that you had to sign up to do an audition, just like got told by a friend, hey, do you want to come over because there's like a big audition that you should try out too, you might fit perfectly. You need to be requested, you need to be um, like asked by someone to do it because they purposely pick you to audition because of on how you fit the description. So if they want a blonde hair girl and a red hair girl pops up, they're just going to be like, we didn't invite you to come. Number 13 is showing up looking different, like a different hair color or a different haircut and stuff. Because, like I said, in your resume you have a headshot and what your face looks like in the headshot is what you should look like when you go to audition because that's what they choose you for. So if you show up looking different, as long as they like told you, hey, can you maybe dye your hair black? one day use or something, then that's when it's okay. Number 14 is telling fake acting information. Like on your resume, you write down all the jobs you've done, your age, your height, your weight, and if you lie about any of the jobs you've done, like, oh, I did this music video, but it was for an irrelevant band, that's not going to matter. You can't lie about what you've done in the past because they could bring that back and show that you never did that. Number 15 is showing up without memorizing your script. Some, th some auditions are okay. They're like, it's okay if you bring your script and read off of it because it's either really long or confusing or they might give you the script on the spot and it's a couple of lines to remember which that is so stressful when that happens because I need to take time to memorize stuff except for like dancing. So having to do that, I'm like, oh, bleh, bleh, bleh. <laughs> so make sure you memorize it. And even if it's long, like when I did Famous Little Girls and I was Marie Antoinette, I had to memorize like five humongous paragraphs. We had more of a time to do that. But when I did the audition, I think I had like a week to memorize it. So yeah, you just have to make sure you have it all done and that's mainly how you get a job. Okay, so this is a problem of mine. That's probably why my mom put this on the list. Number 16 is touching your face or hair during an audition. I always like move my hair around or something or like accidentally like my face is itchy so I go like that. And you shouldn't do that because they're just gonna like 
get distracted on like what you're talking about and like if I'm like saying this okay so hey guys my name is Rena and welcome back to my channel they <laughs> I always do that I always touch my hair during mid things but don't do that because they don't want you to do that and probably most of the things on here is what I've accidentally done before so I've been through these experiences so yeah Number 17 is biting your nails or putting your fingers in your mouth. That's just disgusting when you do that in front of people. Like, maybe if you, like, pick them if you're nervous, but I don't know. Just, like, don't really touch anything. Just make sure you're still, unless if you're supposed to move in the audition, and just, like, say it straight on. Number 18 is being shy. This depends on the description of the audition. Like sometimes it's you have to be really excited, really happy, really encouraged to do something. Or some it's like you have to be sad, you have to wish this never happened. Well, being shy is never usually the case of that because being shy, you could actually be shy and then not want to do the audition. And then when they ask you questions, you're just going to be like, Oh, um, I'm not sure, because before every audition, they always ask you a couple of questions, like, um, what sports do you play, and that type of stuff, so, don't be shy. <laughs> I was about to say something, but I forgot. Number 19 is calling to the casting director to ask right away if you got booked or not. There's many people auditioning, so if you just ask right away, they need at least one to two weeks to look through everybody and discuss with the directors, producers, and stuff. And, yeah. So don't ask right away. That just really annoys them, and you probably won't even get chosen. Number 20, and I actually thought of one by myself, which is like a little tip, which is worry. don't worry about the audition result. You probably did fine, and if they don't choose you, that's perfectly fine. You might have just like did something wrong, or they just found someone.